this video is about this painting. I am going to be showing you the process behind it and what I will be doing to it going forward. I will also be showing you the tools that I use to destroy this painting. And you'll see what I mean later. Um, and I'll be showing you kind of my process behind collaging and I'll speak a little bit more about my process about the entirety of the painting. So these are my destruction tools, some of them. Um, they generally just rip the paper and break apart the layers. And this tool was really good at first, but yeah, not anymore. So I'm going to build a new one. Um, I'm not much of a woodworker. I generally have only really made small things and uh, when I was at school I built my own strainers for my paintings, um, but I also have been building up quite the toolkit. Um, circular saws, drills, handheld saws, clamps, files, chisels, the kinds of things that like I could pick up and use without too much like preparation, I don't need much space, I can do it um, where I need to. Um, and this is in my studio that I share with a few people. Um, and all I have to do at the end is sweep up some sawdust. I believe it is important to have the tools around you to do things, little projects that like this one or just decided I wanted to make this um, because the previous tool I was using and that I had built was inadequate and poorly made. Um, so I figured why not make a better version? Um, and I had the things I needed immediately around me. I didn't have to buy anything. Um, I didn't have to go out of my way just to do it. I had the idea and I executed it um, all in the same night and it feels really good to be able to do that and I would advise anyone that um, makes art and enjoys the process of figuring things out for yourself. Now this is a tool of destruction. I am going to be putting screws through it and it will be dragged across the surface of the canvas, ripping through collage and paint, um, creating new compositions, revealing colors that were hidden and giving a whole new life to the painting. Um, what was stagnant and potentially finished um, has new potential all of a sudden. Now it is time to start collaging. In the back of my head I do know that these collage compositions will get destroyed um, but adding and subtracting through collaging and destroying that collage um, is kind of the whole point of this, uh, this kind of painting uh, is to see how far I can push these materials and what ends up being visible at the end of the painting and what ends up getting left in the background, what will come up when I do destroy what the surface and what will remain intact. So you see me pulling things from a drawer and from my collection of magazines and comic books. Um, I have had and have been building this collection for quite some time now, ever since I've kind of 
figured out this whole process, this collage and layering, which I've been doing for a little while now, and inevitably uh, I collect more things than I can use, uh, which has been a benefit to me, you know, like I can, I never really know what I'll be using in a painting unless I specifically remember something that I want to use. Um, but things tend to just jump out at me. Like here, I have gotten some things together, but something's not quite right. So I just go to the drawer or I flip through some comic books and I find what is necessary for the composition. I pull it out and I see if it'll work and generally I will just make it work because that's what I've chosen and that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> That is all the collage compositions ready now. Um, laying them all out like this really helps me see how best to use them and what composition will work best on the canvas um, instead of just trying to wing it directly onto the canvas, which is sometimes fine, but I'm oddly a little precious with these materials. Like I like these images and I like these textures I guess that some of these materials can provide so I want to honor them to some degree I want to make sure that they're being used in the best way possible even though I am going to destroy it um, it doesn't matter it's all about the moment and um, being happy with what I'm doing and not just slapping random stuff on because like I want to I want the painting to look good after and I I'm pretty happy with the way this looks and what it's covering up from before and what it's not covering up. Um, and I'm looking forward to see how kind of destroying this is going to, like what's gonna show through, what's gonna stay and what's gonna get completely torn off. Destruction time. Let's see how this tool works. Um, I know it's gonna rip up some stuff and it probably doesn't look all that exciting right now, but it's tearing that canvas up, it's tearing up those bits of paper and it'll allow me to rip it off a lot easier instead of just like trying to pick at loose threads, you know, this loosens it up and put some fairly deep gashes in it and I'll be able to go a few layers deep. Getting stuff back up to the front that has previously been covered, not only by this layer, but by layers before that, uh, really allows for the composition to remain dynamic and to change as I work on it. Um, I'm, I'm not stagnant, and I'm always looking forward to see like how I can change the painting and how I can fulfill some sort of vision that's in my head at the time. And then of course I come back into the studio and I say, oh, I need to add this and I need to add that. I spoke of potential before and I, I think in taking these steps to remove stuff and to, to show old things in a new light, um, it really shows the potential of the painting. What can I do next? How can I keep this interesting? How can I move it forward?
what this continued process of addition and subtraction, collaging, and destroying that collage, it shows me new ways of painting, of making things, and new techniques that I can use on other paintings, and it's just fun to experiment and to see how far I can push things. Thank you.